This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. It is a challenge puzzle. What? Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. We will. Challenge. Collect all of the corn and all of the pumpkins. Hey, this looks like a... It's different. You see all these numbers? The last puzzle is very similar. Uh, you can complete this challenge any way you want, but it will either take a lot of work or a lot of thinking. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well... First off, let's just go through it, right? I'm just going to start throwing blocks down. Apparently, there's not a limit, so we could have a million, and it looks like it might take that much. But I bet there's some repeats we can use. So I'm just going to say move forward. And once I move forward once, what do we got here? Corn. So pick, 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 pick for corn. And then what? Well, then I'm going to turn to the right. Oh, Mr. Corn. Turn to the right. And then what? I'm going to move forward. And once I move forward, how many pumpkins? One pumpkin, two pumpkin, three pumpkin, four pumpkin, five pumpkin, six pumpkin. Okay. And then what? Well, then I'm going to turn to the left. Then what will I do? Well, I need to move forward to the corn. And once I'm at the corn, what will I do? Pick, pick, pick. How many corn? Four. Let's just test this out by hit and run. It already looks like a bunch, but we're going to make it easier. Okay, then what am I going to do? Turn right. And once I turn right, what do I need to do? Move forward. Then what? Pick lots of pumpkins. How is she carrying all of this? Like, where where are we holding a billion pumpkins and corn? Can No? Like, she's, she's going to injure herself. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just saying. Uh, and then turn left and then move forward and then we got to pick some corn and i'm going to pause now okay so hopefully this is all working but there is an easier way however you should be doing what i am doing when you first hit some of these just start writing it out with blocks because it's easier to see what is getting repeated then rather than just trying to visualize it this is what people actually do in programming when learning things i know trust me okay so, pick corn four times. I don't want to keep saying pick corn, pick corn, pick corn. Let's be lazy. So, I'm going to get rid of three of these guys. I'm going to use a repeat block, drop pick corn in it, and say, hey, computer, move forward. But then you are running pick corn four times in a row. One, two, three, four. And after that, once it's done running this four times, it just drops the code beneath it. But look, here's another. How many times do we say pick pumpkin? Six times? Nah, that's a waste. Let's just... Say it once and use a repeat. Now I gotta change this to a six. But now, boom, I'll pick six pumpkins and I don't have to write it all out. Okay? Now let's take a look at this code. Huh. Well, again, four pick corns, that's a waste. So let me put a repeat here. Boom. Four corns. Turn left. Boo forward, pick four corns. Look at my pumpkins here. Okay, so six more pumpkins. It's a waste. Let's just use a repeat. Pick a pumpkin. Okay. And then what do I have? Oh, well, I was going to pick four more corn here. Right, we know that. So I'm going to get rid of that. Put this. Put a four. And Okay, let's test this out so far. We're getting there. Okay, and I can keep going with this, right? This works just fine so far. So I would turn what? Right again, move forward, go to this pumpkin. But look at this. And you can use this. We haven't talked about this as much. But you can put loops in other loops. So if I line these guys up, move forward, move forward, repeat four times, pick corn, move right, forward, move, repeat six times, pick pumpkin, turn left. Huh. And look, I started my other, my next line. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Pick. One. So how many times are we going to do this? Right? I don't want to have to write all of this out or worse yet, write it out with no repeats. So let me hit reset here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. I'm going to try that. And so instead of writing these blocks once, twice, three, seven times, I'm going to get rid of these. And now, 
put a seven here. And what the code will do is when I hit run, it's going to run all of this seven times. So the first round, it will move forward and then it's going to pick corn four times and then it's going to turn right, move forward. We're going to six times pick pumpkins. We're going to turn left and it hits the bottom, goes back to the top and says, okay, six more times, move forward. It again, repeats four times of us picking corn and so on. It's so much easier using repeat blocks than having to write everything out. I mean, that could have been, I don't even know, 50 lines of code. Tricky. Awesome. Forward.